Hello, this is Brandon Ivy, Global Power with Shopping Sherlock, and I'm here with some new e-commerce news. Now, this is an article published March 11, 2014, which states, Here's the latest sign that China's e-commerce market is white hot. The Chinese e-commerce e market is becoming an extremely competitive space. With lots of dollars at stake, Companies that were not originally e-commerce focused are expanding their services to include digital marketplaces and payments platforms. Most recently comes the announcement that Chinese consumer internet giant Tencent has paid $215 million for a 15% stake in JD.com, formerly known as 360 Buy, China's second largest e-commerce company by transaction volume. Tencent will get an additional 5% stake in GD.com after the company files for an IPO. Tencent plans to integrate JD.com with its popular messaging app, WeChat. More than 300 million people are active on WeChat each month, and the app bare already has its own built-in payment system. The new partnership means WeChat users will soon be able to purchase a huge array of products from within the app. So if I scroll down a little bit here, you got e-commerce sales in China topped 300 billion in 2013 according to some analyst, analyst estimates and approximately 8% of those sales occurred via mobile devices. This is about 7 percentage points below the share of mobile transactions on JD.com's platform. By 2015, mobile commerce overall could amount for as much as 15% of China's e-commerce market. By leveraging its mobile messaging app, which is already extremely popular for payments, Tencent appears to be carving out its share of the crowded e-commerce market by investing heavily in the mobile commerce future. Now look at mobile commerce in China. In 2010, it was $344 million. By 2015, it will be $7.8 billion. <laughs> you guys see that increase? In just five years, you went from 344 million to 7.8 billion. Good grief. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. 78 billion. I said that wrong. Not 7.8 billion, but 78 billion dollars in five years. Mobile commerce. Again, this is a trend, not a fad. E-commerce has taken over the world. Are you positioned to take advantage of this? Shopping Sherlock is. My name is Brandon Ivey, Shopping Sherlock. See you next time. Bye-bye.